With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. ABCD is a parallelogram. ABCD is a parallelogram. The sides of AB and AD are produced. The sides AB and AD are produced to E and F. AB is produced to E and AD is produced to F respectively such that AB and B are equal such that AB and V are equal and AD and DF are equal. Now prove that triangle BEC congruent to triangle DCF. This triangle is congruent to this triangle. We need to prove this. Now let's start with the solution. Number one given AB is equals to BE and AD is equals to DF. This is given to us. Mark this number one. But AB is equals to AB is equals to CD and AD is equals to BC. AD is equals to BC. Reason being opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Now mark this number 2. Now from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2. 1 says AB is equals to BE. 2 says AB is equals to CD. That means ultimately BE and CD are equal. BE is equals to CD. BE is equals to C D and one says A D is equals to D F, two says A D is equals to B C. Ultimately D F and B C are equal. D F is equals to B C. D F is equals to B C. Now mark this number three. Now next Next, AB parallel CD. Mark this angle. Let this angle as angle 1, this as angle 2, and this is angle 3. AB parallel CD, therefore, angle 1 is equals to angle 2. Reason being, they are forming corresponding angles and corresponding angles between parallel lines are equal. These two lines are parallel and AF is transversal and AF is transversal so angle 1 and angle 2 forming corresponding angle and corresponding angles are equal. Now next uh, AD parallel BC. Now again AD parallel BC because ABCD is a parallelogram. Now angle 1 and angle 3 are equal. Angle 1 and angle 3 are equal. Same reason again they are forming corresponding angle. Corresponding angles are those angles which are on the same side of side and uh, to parallel lines and transversal. Now AE is a transversal angle 1 and angle 3 are corresponding angle. They are equal. Now what we can conclude from here. Angle 1 is equals to angle 2. Angle 1 is equals to angle 3. That means ultimately angle 2 and angle 3 are equal. This implies angle 2 and angle 3 are equal. Now mark this number 4. Now in triangle now in triangle BEC and triangle DCF now in triangle BEC we have proved that BE is equals to CT we have proved that BE is equals to CT 
D. B is equals to C D from three. Second, we have proved that angle two is equals to angle three from four. Next, we have proved that D F is equals to B C. D F. Oh, sorry, it's not D F. B C will come here. BC is equals to DF. Now we have proved that BC is equals to DF and angle 2 is equals to angle 3. Now again from 3, therefore triangle BEC is congruent to triangle. D C F by S A S congruency by S A S congruency means side angle side congruency. These two triangles are congruent. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.